your original channel, which you still managed to grow to quite a significant audience, uh, quite a significant size, you, like you said yourself, you kind of did it scattershot. You know, you're, you're just kind of making stuff. And uh, there's movie reviews, but, you know, yeah, also uh, I'm going to try this, this new food. Come check it out. I have a feeling w with, with folks listening out there that that may resonate with them too. Like that's kind of how I'm doing it. Like I have my channel. I think it's about this, but sometimes I, I, you know, turn a corner and just do something totally random uh, for anybody out there resistant to this idea that, you know, I have to niche down more, you know, what, what would you tell them? Like if a client was coming to you and saying, I have this channel, here's what it's doing. And you saw some promise, but you could tell like, uh Oh, you know, you're not quite focused. What, what would be, be your advice? It would be it would be down to intent. I can either be brutal and say, if you want sales for your plumbing company, Jeff, then you eating hot dogs, right, isn't going to help. You whacking your hot dogs on a golf course isn't going to help. But if you're talking about your specific plumbing needs or your water needs or the, why specifically frequently asked questions of why does standing water smell and that that's within your field okay so if i'm going to be brutal fine jeff whack your hot dogs but you're going to get the wrong audience you're Wait, is, this a, is, is this a real client of yours <laughs> yeah, <laughs> very specific I'm, I'm searching right now on youtube <laughs> hitting hot dogs on a golf course i'm seeing what comes up there there is there is one client that uh that i i subject to ndas and stuff i'll, I'll touch upon very carefully uh, but basically it's a it's a uh, a fencing company that is does quite well now mm -hmm. and as long you can still be educational and funny okay they were making content that was how to this and how to that which was great right but then they made a video which was all about a specific building material okay and if you've seen the video, you probably even know what, what the video happens to be. A specific building material over time, and it's a nice time-lapse thing, and it's entertaining. It's this versus that, okay? And, but it still was within their focus of them telling us how to put up that fence, how to build that fence, what specific materials to use, okay? And because that was still within their focus and entertaining, not only did it answer the questions of their clients' needs, but that specific video went viral, okay? Because it was interesting to not only their base, but generally people that go, oh, what's what's that? That's weird. That's cool. Okay. So if you're going to be scattershot, understand that being scattershot runs the risk of alienating your channel. It either won't take off because the YouTube algorithm doesn't know. So he does YouTube tutorials and eating contests and strokes hamsters so the hamster video goes viral and it tries to put it in front of youtube tutorial people and they're like what <laughs> or yeah, where's, the where's the venn diagram for growing a youtube channel and growing hamsters i'm wondering i'm wondering how big that is well that's that's it that's it or if, unless you've got some kind of animated host but the the problem there happens to be <laughs> right <laughs> that the, the, the virtual youtubers are a thing you never know. Uh, Furry, yeah. virtual YouTuber, YouTube educators. None of us, let's be honest, none of us are there, right? If anything, people are going the opposite way around. We've got, you know, we've got we've got Nick Nimmon, we've got Rob Wilson. There's a, a kind of hair motif going along that way, right? And there's D Nimmon, right? There's just this. So you never know. Virtual YouTube edu educators could be the next way to go. But, um, the, the problem has to be is that if you want to play into the YouTube algorithm, you need to lean into it. Now, if you want to be more scattershot, you need to understand that that will either hamper your growth or it will make a decision for you in the long run. And it, you, you've got a choice. You either steer into that choice and grow further or not grow into that. And in three, four months time, once that pump of traffic drops off, you've missed that rocket ship and you'll be going down to the baseline of YouTube trying to find videos for gerbil YouTubers and whatever it happens to be, okay? So I would say focus is the key. Truly, think of one thing in your heart, the thing that you can't stop talking about, right? The thing that you're going to have masks behind you during a, a YouTube live stream, right? 
of Marvel characters or stormtroopers, or you, you, you get 500,000 subscribers and you just have to make a wrestling belt, right? Something that you can't help but talk about for hours and hours and hours on end. That's your thing. There's someone out there that will listen to that. There's thousands of people out there that will listen to that because you're passionate about that thing. And if you're passionate about that thing, but not the four other things that are on your channel that you're only doing because, well, I heard me talking about drama helps grow my channel, you're not going to put the passion into it as much, right? So either love it or understand where it needs to go. So if you're a business, the intent, what is your intent? What are you trying to get? Are you getting customers? Are you trying to prove that you're the expert? I've got 700 videos on my channel. I'm not there to sell a, a YouTube course. What I'm trying to do is help you grow a YouTube channel, maybe trust me, and then ring me up, and that's how I make my money, right? Or you use the affiliate links down below to install vidIQ at vidIQ.com forward slash Alan Spicer, right? In which it's a fantastic SEO tool. You get more subscribers. You can maximize your ability to, to optimize your videos. You get daily video ideas that you can lean into, okay? Your intent is what you're looking for. Grow your business or talk about your passion that you love. That's how you focus. That's how you'll grow a brand and grow your YouTube channel.